Welcome to Total Body Conditioning with Ellen. I missed you all last Thursday. We had the holiday, and then of course next Thursday we're off as well. And Sandy might not be joining us, but she might come back. Um, we are going to do um, a workout today with weights and some body weights. So make sure you have your um, dumbbells close by. And we're going to start with some marching in place. So just body weight to start. And we're going to go for 30 seconds. Nice and easy. We're just going to march in place here. And we are going to get nice and warm and just take a couple minutes to do this. Keep it up. Hey, Terry. Happy Thursday, everybody. We're gonna get a good workout today. And since Thanksgiving is next Thursday, this is technically our last Thursday class in November. So we are gonna be doing some planks. Don't get too excited. <laughs> All right, let's take this to squats. Down and up, 30 seconds. We're doing strength and cardio. I will show you some low impact options. That's why I'm barefoot. I usually do low impact. But remember, this is your workout, so take it at whatever pace or intensity you want. And have those dumbbells, those weights close by. We've got four, three. We're going to take it into jumping jacks right here for 30. Jumping jacks. So this is my low impact option. Just kicking out to the side. Want to reach those arms all the way overhead. Let's keep it going. 30 seconds. It is so dark now. At five o'clock, I don't like that about the daylight savings, right? I like early in the morning, I like that it's light. But not that it's dark at night. All right, we've got four, three, Two, we're gonna take us to a side to side shuffle for 30. Side to side shuffle for 30 seconds. You can add a little reach at the top here at the side. Hey Sarah, welcome. You can just add a little lift or a little jump. Side to side shuffle. We've got 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna do these one more time through. We got a stretch. Suzanne, welcome. All right, three, two, we're back to those marches for 30. So if you want to increase this intensity a little bit, you can make it more of a jog, right? 30 seconds. Want to pump those arms, keep it going. Do, do. I was gonna play some music for you, but it looks like Jim is using my Spotify. When he gets home, <laughs> hopefully soon I can put some of that music on. How dare he use my account? A couple more seconds, three, two, let's take it into squats. 30 seconds. Maybe just start to move a little bit faster the second time through. Remember to push those hips back and keep your chest up. Welcome Sharon. Happy Thursday, everybody. Really good workout this evening. A few more seconds here, and then we go into jumping jacks. Three, two, jumping jacks, let's go. I'm just doing a low impact version. You all know, you can do that regular jack, keep it up, warming it up. Looking good. We got 15 more seconds. Maybe Sandy will come back, we'll see. 10 more, she's waiting for dad. What's after is this, our side-to-side -side shuffle. Mindy, welcome. All right, 30 seconds, let's do it. Side-to-side -side shuffle, can add a little reach or an actual jump. Side-to-side -side shuffle, keep it up. And then we'll get a quick stretch and get going. 15 more seconds, side-to-side -side shuffle. Let's go. Inchworm walkouts are gonna be next. So we're just gonna switch it over to a little bit of strength. Three, two, and one. Let's just take it down a little bit. So one minute inchworm walkout. You can go ahead and start with that. Do you wanna warm up our upper body now a little bit? 
along with our core. You can also choose to hold a plank here if you'd like, but I want you to slow down that walkout. One of the planks we're doing for plank skipping. So you should be very familiar with it. Keep going, everybody. 30 more seconds. It's warm today, right? It's like ridiculous. Having to put the fan on already. All right, we've got about 15 seconds left. We're doing an inch worm walkout. And then I'll give you a minute to grab your weights because that's what we're going to use for today's workout. You have time for one more walkout and then you're going to meet me at the top. All right, come all the way back up. And once we're here, we're going to roll those shoulders. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you grab some weights for today's workout. If you have variety, then grab that light, moderate, and heavy. You can also stick to body weight if that's all you got to, because that also works. Let's shake up the arms here. We'll go into a full body roll. So feet nice and wide, starting with those shoulders. Let's take it down, bend the knees, inhale, and then exhale, let's roll it up and do that again. Inhale, take it down, and then exhale. And now let's just open and close the hips here. You're gonna open up and then close. And then do the other side. Think of drawing circles with your knees here. Just a nice way to kind of warm up those hips a little bit. In case you have been sitting all day. So maybe a couple more on each side and then stretch out anything else that you need to. So as I always say, this is your workout. So do what you gotta do. Make sure you have water close by and we're gonna get going. All right, we've got four rounds and just two exercises in each one along with the cardio movement. So technically three, but um, the first two are gonna be strength based. All right, so your first one, we're sort of breaking down a burpee and you want moderate weight for this one. Your hands start here. You're gonna go right into that overhead press. You're gonna take it down into that nice and low squat. You can step or jump it out, and then we do a tricep push up. So essentially breaking down a burpee, right? Overhead press, take it nice and low. You can step or jump it out. I lower my knees to then go into our tricep push up. You can also just do an overhead press and take out the second part of that movement. Um, and then we have a bicep curl. We're gonna add something else to it. Bicep curl, deadlift, row. And then you're gonna switch legs. Bicep curl, other leg. So it's a single leg deadlift as you go into a row. So it's all about combo movements this evening. So we burn the most calories and we work a little bit of everything. So let's start with our first movement. It's gonna be every minute on the minute. We're gonna go for about 50 seconds. All right, overhead press, come down into your plank and your push up, breaking down the burpee. Round one, let's go. So overhead press, and I want you to do it nice and slow, not like a cardio burpee, okay? So slow every movement down. I want every movement to be intentional. Curl and press. You can jump out to the plank, but I still want you to go a little slower than what you would do in maybe like a hit class with a burpee because we're using weights. So nice and slow, keep going. You go for just about a minute and then we'll take just that 10 seconds to transition. So you got about 10 more to go, 10 more to go. Keep it in. Three, two, and one. You're gonna get ready for your bicep curl and then your single leg deadlift. Starting in three, two, let's go. So curl with both arms, hinge forward, deadlift. You hold that leg as you go into your row. You curl again and then switch sides. Now the single leg is pretty challenging. So another option is a regular deadlift, like I'm doing right here. So if you're ready for that single leg, make sure you're alternating each time. 
And if not, you're gonna stay right here with me. I want both feet under your hips. And this can be a moderate to heavy weight, especially because the row back muscles are large. We're not doing anything overhead. I want you to really squeeze those shoulder blades together. We got a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do it again. Back to overhead press and burpee breakdown. Ready, set. I know it's only 10 seconds in between. Let's go. Overhead press. So same exact thing. Step or jump out. Pause in that plank. And then go into that tricep push-up. Remember, any version, any breakdown of this. Let's see it. Keep moving, everybody. Keep it moving. Perfect. Yep. So I'm just coming up to check on your form. You all keep going. Nice, Lori. Yep. Looking good. If you are lowering into that burpee, that plank, make sure your core is nice and strong. Perfect. Back is nice and flat. Excellent. You have 10 more seconds. Do, do. 10 more seconds. Now it's only three, two, and one. Take a few seconds, catch your breath. You can keep that same weight or maybe you go for something heavier. Curl. Here we go, into that deadlift row, let's go. So I'm gonna do just a regular deadlift. I go curl, deadlift, row. Bicep curl, hinge forward, right? I want you to really pull your hips back and then add that row. Think of pulling those elbows up and back and bringing your weight to your rib cage. So I know this is all strength. We're gonna get into cardio in just a moment here. Keep it up. We're gonna do one more final round. It's gonna be a little bit shorter though. So maybe you try a heavier weight or try that single leg if you haven't tried it yet. We've got three, two, and one. 10 seconds. I'm just evening myself out here. All right, so one more round, and you're just going to go for 30, and then we're going to hop right into cardio and plank core. I already told you what it was going to be. All right, here we go. Overhead press. Let's go. 30 seconds. So now I'll allow you to go a tiny bit faster if you want that option. Right? So third time through, we know what we're doing. If you're feeling good, you can pick up that speed a little bit. Keep it up but without compromising your form, right? So you only got a few more seconds left to go. Couple more seconds. Maybe it's just a tad bit faster than that last time. Three, two, I'm still gonna give you about 10 seconds. Bicep curl, deadlift row. Ready, set, let's do it. So now I'm gonna go to single leg and make it a little bit harder. So here, maybe you just up your weight a little bit. Our cardio, just so we know, it's going to be skater hops. We're going to add some weight to it. You're only going to get 10 seconds in between this. You've got 10 more with this movement. Tuck those hips under just a tiny bit. Strong core. We've got three, two, and one. Take a look at my screen. You want one dumbbell. You're going to actually push it side to side. See that? So the arm movement is very different from what we normally do in our skaters. 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. Now, low impact, you just take out the hop. But see how that weight is coming into my chest and I'm extending it out, right? You can go out to the diagonal in front of you or you can add a full rotation. Woo! You can actually add a full hop. Keep it up, keep it up. We go for 40, and then for 20 seconds, the latter half of our minute, you're gonna do a plank of your choice. All right, we got a couple more seconds. Plank of your choice, 20 seconds, go. So I'll just show you a couple. You can do this on your hands, on your forearms, maybe a side plank. You'll get to do it one more time. 20 seconds, plenty of your choice. You got a few more seconds to go. We're not really holding it for that long. Three, two, 
10 seconds, come back up. Let's go back to our skater hops for 40. 40 seconds, let's go. 40 seconds, cardio, 20 seconds, core. Looking good, everyone. Remember, there's always an option of removing the weight and making this just body weight, right? Keep it up. You can stick to that same plank. We're gonna be doing a bunch of them today. So you'll have some other opportunities to switch it up. 10 more seconds. And you're gonna get right into that plank. In three, two, one. Get right into that plank, go. 20 seconds, hold it. I want your gaze slightly in front of your fingers or your hands, whatever plank you're doing. Hold it, hold it. Less than 10. And we gotta do our final, our third and final round. It's gonna be a 30, 15, so a little shorter. Everyone come up, skater hops. 30 seconds. Let's go. So since the time is a little shorter, can you go a little harder? I don't know. Can you? If you're feeling good, try. Woo! Come on. As long as you're moving, I'm okay with this. Let's go, let's go. And then your plank, we're gonna still keep it at 20. We're gonna still keep it at 20 seconds. You can be that same plank. Ready, set, 20 seconds, go. We will get a full rest after this. 20 seconds, hold that plank. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. It's our last Thursday in November. We gotta get the planks in before Thanksgiving. You have 10 seconds. Maybe you're doing Spider-Man plank or shoulder taps. Maybe a seesaw. Three, two, one minute. Take a break. Every minute on the minute. This minute is your break. How are we doing? Thumbs up, we're good? Awesome. I'm just gonna show you a couple variations of planks. We're gonna do them again. So our second round, I want you to do something different. So while you're getting your water, you got the plank taps, right? We've got plank rockers, where you go forward and back. I also like to call it seesaw. You could do side plank, right? And then you would just switch halfway or switch in that next round. So a lot of different ways to do our planks. All right, we got 20 seconds left of break. Round two, you're gonna go into a sumo squat alternating lateral raise. So I would say moderate to heavy. We're not going overhead. And then exercise number two, and then we're gonna get going, is a regular squat, okay, not sumo. Down, front raise, T, open and close. Squat, front raise, open and close. Let's start with our sumo squat. All right, ready, set, open up from those hips, and let's go. So. Sumo squat, one arm, back to sumo, and then the other. So you're alternating. Yes, that lateral raise. See, it's gonna be heavy. You stop right at the shoulder, so it almost should go any higher than that shoulder height. Squat, come up, and then do the arm. Perfect, so we're not using any momentum for that. Right? It's easier if you kind of add it on the way up. So I want you to squat first, come back up, and then you're raised. Perfect. 10 more seconds. When you're in that sumo, imagine your knees being pulled back behind you, right? Really open up. Three, two, we have 10 seconds. So you can keep the weight, maybe drop down a bit. It's gonna be that more narrow squat, front raise, woo! Let's go. Down, up. Again, no momentum. Open, squeeze your shoulder blades together there. Close, repeat. Squat, raise, open, close. I'll show you from the side. So it's like you're lowering the weights to the floor. You come all the way up, front raise, woo. Open, close. So three, almost like three different movements, right? Keep going, everybody. Woof. 
down, up. You've got 10 more seconds. And then we start back with number one, right? We go through back to back these exercises. And stop. All right, you can roll the shoulders, adjust your weights. Sumo squat. Ready, set. Core nice and strong. Let's go. Down, up, alternating lateral raise. Keep it up. Down, lift. Every move with intention. So nice and slow. Our cardio is where you can pick up the speed. But here, I want you to slow it down, right? And at any point, you can adjust those weights. Keep it up. All right, so you got less than 20. Keep going. Do, do. 10 more seconds. Can you get a little bit lower? Let me just check this out. So your hips down, but chest stays up. Beautiful. Couple more seconds. All right, go ahead and just pause for a couple seconds. Maybe roll the shoulders. Narrow squat. Ready, set. Front raise, open close. Let's do it. Down, up, lift, open, close. So we want to make sure, keep going. Want to make sure that the shoulders don't come out of their pockets, right? Tuck them down and away. Let's see it. Imagine there's a chair right underneath you and you're just sitting into that chair. Yeah, perfect. Good, Mindy. Excellent form. Good, Suzanne. Yeah. Good, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, you all got it. Perfect. You can come up first and then the front raise. Yeah. Just makes it, makes your muscles work the way that they should rather than that momentum or that swing. All right, so we're going to do it one more time through. All right, we don't want to go any faster, but maybe heavier weights. Go ahead and stop. So it's going to be a little bit shorter. Sumo squat. Here we go. And start. Let's go. It's only 30 seconds. So maybe you just grab something heavier, or maybe you just get a little bit lower. Maybe you add a jump here. You can do that. 30 seconds. Come on. So how are we going to make this a little bit harder than what you did before? Try to have your weight because you only have less than 10 seconds. Woof. Maybe you just get lower, right? And stop. Take your 10 seconds. Woo. All right, I'm going to grab these little light ones to add. This is going to be a lot harder, but it's only for 30 seconds. Let's go. Squat. Front raise. Oh, my gosh. Woo, okay. I feel that. But remember, the time, oh, my gosh, the time is shorter. You can do this. Woo. Got to make it a little bit harder. 10 seconds. Keep the core engaged, right? Get ready for cardio. What is the cardio? Oh, yeah, we need some ski jumps. All right, go ahead and stop. 10 seconds. Ski jumps. Either standing, low impact, or we haven't done these in a while. Down here. They are no fun. I know they suck, but let's get them in. 40 seconds. I'm going to start down here. Ready, set, and go. Ski jumps on the floor or standing. You can also do one foot at a time on the floor. So I'm hopping one foot. If you're on the floor, think of kicking your heels up to the ceiling. Keep it up. Less than halfway. You can also do them on a bench. I don't really have a set up that great that way, but you can use the bench as well. Less than 10. Now I'm doing the standing. Think of your next plank variation and hit it. Your next plank variation. Go. Woo. I'm going to do plank jacks. Oh gosh, bad idea. Come on. It's only for 20 seconds. Whatever plank variation you want to do. Maybe it's just a static plank supported on your knees, and that is just hard enough. And stop. Come on up. Ski jumpers or stay low if you're doing them on the floor. 
Ready, set. Let's go. 40 seconds. I'm going to do them standing first. One foot, or maybe both. Imagine you got those ski poles. Yes, yeah, Suzanne, love it. Yep, good, Sarah. Good, Lori, I see you. Nice, Terry, kick those heels up. Awesome job, everybody. More than halfway. I know this one's hard. Let's go, let's go. You got 10 seconds left. Woo! And you can switch during that time. Think of the plank you want to do and hit it. Go. I'm going to do a walkout plank, actually. Go ahead and start. 20 seconds plank. So it doesn't have to be a static hold. By adding movement, you make your plank more dynamic and you actually make your muscles work a little harder and work that core a little bit more. And stop. Take 10 seconds. We're dropping it to 30 for our cardio. Ready, set, and go. Woo. So I'm sort of doing one foot at a time, intermixed with a jump. You can do it however you want. 10 seconds. Woo. Gosh, this one sucks. Find your plank. Go. Hit your plank for 20. Planks giving. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You are so close. You've got four, three, two, and one. This minute is recovery. Woo, how we doing? Fist bump, high five, thumbs up. You all are great. Get some water, right? Get some water. All doing a great job. All right, we're gonna move on. So you have two more different plank variations to think about, okay? Because we got two more rounds. And these next two are on the floor. So this one, we sort of have a plank in this one. Oh my gosh, I'm rolling my mat. I have all these bruises on my knees. Okay, you're gonna do an alternating back fly. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna tabletop. You're gonna keep those toes tucked, okay? Option one, back fly and that's all you're doing, okay? If you wanna make it harder, you do back fly, back fly, knees off the floor, step out to plank, come back to bear, or tabletop, and then repeat. Back fly, back fly, lift the knees off the floor, out to plank, out to bear. And then your second exercise, we're gonna keep one leg extended, opposite arm is doing a kick back, triceps. So everything is done in tabletop, okay? So that means get that towel, fold your mat, make sure you have that uh, protection for your knees. Let's start with our alternating back fly. And I would say light to moderate weight. Let's go. So you need the right arm, you need the left arm, you have a little bit of a tug on that core, and then lift these off the floor, step back to plank, come back, to tabletop and repeat. Your gaze is in front of you the whole time. We don't want our head up or down, but somewhere in the middle. Woo! To your back fly, right arm, left arm, lift the knees off the floor. You find that bear for just a second. You step back to find that plank for a second. Step back in. We've got a couple more to go. A couple more seconds. Yep, good, Lori. Arms come straight up to the side like you're making the letter T. You want to still want to see them at the corners of your eyes. All right, take a few seconds, relax. You're going to extend your left leg up and do your tricep kick back with your right arm. Hold that left leg, right arm moves. Let's go. So if you're not sure, take a look at my screen. I'm doing a kickback with my right arm, moderate to heavy weight. My left leg just stays lifted, just like holding a plank. You're just holding that leg there. Woo, 
We are really feeling that core. Or hopefully we're feeling the core. Extend, keep it up. And your elbow, I want it to stay up. Extend that arm straight and then bend back at the elbow. You got about 15 more seconds. Tricep extension. Yep, perfect, Lori. You got it. Yep, good, Terry. Make sure those hip bones are facing the floor. They're going to move a little bit, but your goal is to try to keep them up. Try to keep them steady. And stop. Take a little breather. Woo, 10 seconds. We're going to do it again. All right, alternating back fly. This one's the same movement. Ready, set. Let's do it. Same movement. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Bear, plank, back to bear, and repeat. Or maybe you're just doing those back flies. Keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up. You got it. Make sure the head is not too high up, too far down, the summer right in the middle. Woo! We've got less than 10 seconds. Woo! Three, two, take 10 seconds. You can sit back, child's pose, maybe circle those ankle, those wrists. We're gonna hold up our other leg and then do tricep extension the other side. So this round we only go through twice for strength. Here we go. Now it's your left arm doing the tricep extension. Right leg lifted. Let's go. Again, if you're not sure, take a look at my screen. Just make sure it's an opposite arm doing the tricep kickback. And the opposite leg extending. Woo! Keep it up. Nice and slow here. We'll get into cardio in just about 30 seconds. Let me check it out. Keep that elbow up. Good, squeeze the back of that arm. Perfect. Keep going everybody. Ladies, all ladies tonight, love it. We stand up for cardio. You have about five more seconds, so maybe get two more kickbacks. Squeeze that leg, lift it a little higher. All right, everyone stand up. Squat jacks. This is your cardio. And it can be with that, with that dumbbell, okay? So you get into a nice narrow squat, up and down, just as it sounds, a squat jumping jack. 40 seconds, ready or not, here it comes. So down, up, low impact. It's just gonna be that tap instead of that full jump, right? I want you to imagine you're getting into chair pose, like with yoga. So once you get really low in that squat, and then all the way up. This one's really gonna get that heart rate up. Show me those levels. Down and then up. Any sensitive shoulders or arms you can just lose that extra weight. Your body weight is perfect enough, right? Woo, come on. Think about your plank. Think about your third variation and hit it. 20 seconds, go. I'm gonna do rainbow planks on my forearms and lift my hips up and over. 20 seconds, come on. Whatever you want. Keep it up. And then we're gonna start again from the top. You have four, three, two, back to squat jacks for 40. Woo, this we are gonna go through three rounds. Ready, set, let's go. Squat jacks 40. And we'll be playing for 20, right? Come on. Woo, keep it up. Your final round is gonna be 30 seconds of cardio. We stick to the 20 with the plank. And then we'll have our final round of exercises. Keep it up. You got this. Keep it up. Woo, get nice and low. You have less than 15 seconds. You got it, Sarah. Let's go. Woo. And hit your plank. Go, hit your plank. Whatever it is. Woo. Doing rainbows with my hips, lifting 
up and over. Remember, slow it down for the plank, slow it down for strength. Three, two, 10 seconds, stand up. Okay, last round, cardio is only 30. Squat jacks, ready, set, go. So grab that weight or have it off to the side. Yes, looking good, everyone. Good, Suzanne, love it. Yes, Mindy, yes, Sharon, there she is. Lori looks like she's having way too much fun over there. Keep it up. <laughs> Couple more seconds. We have five, four, three. Hit your plank. Go. Hit that plank for your final one. 20 seconds. Let's go. Final one of this round. Woo, remember wherever you're at. Keep that head up just slightly. Tuck those hips under just a little bit. Couple more seconds and stop. Here's our minute of rest. Oh my gosh, our final round, everybody. Final round, let me show you. Think about the final variation of a plank that you wanna do. And then we're gonna do, okay, these last two are tricky. So these two strength, we're also gonna go through just twice. You're gonna actually do shoulder tap, into a push-up. I'll show you a standing option too. But you're in your plank, hands are wide, or even a supported on your knees. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push-up. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push-up. So you could do this standing. Light weights. All right, so you could go elbow to knee, press. So the press is instead of your push-up, and the elbow to knee is instead of your shoulder tap, because we're really just working our core. And then our last one is going to be a chest fly into a leg extension, head down. So you're gonna open the arms, legs go out, and then everything comes back in, right? Out and in, okay? Here we go. Shoulder tap and push up, starting in three, two, and go. Just under a minute. Take your time with this. So I'm going to do a wide plank, my feet wide. I'm going to do the shoulder tap, but I'm going to lower my knees for the push-up part. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, into that push-up. For your push-up, Woo! I want your elbows to go straight back. And another option is doing all this on a bench or a chair. I'm gonna need a standing option as well. You've got about 10 seconds left. Standing option. I'm going elbow to knee crisscross and then a chest press. Woo! Here we go for three, two. You got 10 seconds, everyone on your back. This could be a heavier weight. Chest press with your leg extension in three, two, relax your head, let's go. Inhale, arms lower, out to a T, legs lower, and then exhale, come back in. Your job is to keep your back flat on the floor. Inhale, exhale, right? Slow it down if you want this harder, your legs stay straight the whole time, you all know. You got this. Woof. Keep it up. Now we only do this one more time through and then cardio, which also is only twice. It's gonna be tricky. Inhale and exhale. Imagine one of your heavy weights pressing down on your belly. All right, everyone flip around 10 seconds. One more time, plank shoulder tap into push up or the standing version. We're gonna start in four. This is your last time doing it. Two, and go. 50 seconds. So I do shoulder tap in the plank, then I lower my knees and go into my push up. Woo, come on. Let's finish strong. We got this. Let me see. Final round. Yes, Lori, you got it. Yep. Yes, yep, very good. 
So that right hand taps that left shoulder. Perfect. Yes, good, Sharon. Love it. Elbow to knee. And then a press. And you can press straight forward, Sharon, like you're doing a push up. Push those weights straight ahead of you. Couple more seconds, everybody. We've got three. Keep that back nice and flat in your push ups. And everyone, flip over onto your back. Chest fly with that leg extension. Starting in three, two, let's go. This is it. Then we'll stand up for cardio so you know what's coming. Inhale, legs lower, arms lower. Exhale back up, slow it down. Take that breath. Woo! If you start to feel your back arching, stop the legs and bring them back up. That's how you know how low to go. Your body will tell you. Keep it up, everybody. We're gonna do a little bit of punching with our weights for the cardio. We'll stand up in just a few seconds. All right, we've got four, three, two, and stand up. And this is a quick transition. I want you to grab your light weights. Here is your cardio. Your feet are right underneath those hips. You're gonna go cross body, punch, straight jump, punch, straight jump, punch, straight jump, okay? We're gonna go for 30 seconds and then our plank is still 20. So it's your last plank variation, whatever you wanna do, start with the cardio. Let's go. So punch, jump in the center, punch the other side, hit. So I bend my knees and I pivot my hips there, right? Because you're punching across. Bring it across, bring it across. Woo! I'm gonna bring out our legs a little bit here too. It's kind of a squat jump. Less than 10. Think of the final plank that you wanna do. And hit it. Final plank, hit it. And then we just have to do this one more time. I'm gonna go back to my plank jacks. Let's go. I'm gonna step out. Woo! Come on. Final plank. Let's go, let's go. You only have four seconds left. Woo! And stand up. Your final minute of work is right here. Woo, here we go. Cross body punch, straight jump, hit it. Punch, straight jump, punch. You can just do a little pulse there. Or maybe even take it out. Hit it, hit it. Remember, hands up, boom, boom. I want to see every punch with intention. Let's go, let's go. Every punch with intention. Get ready to hit that final plank. Three, two, hit your final plank. Let's go. I'm going to do reverse plank. My last one. This one's hard. Reverse plank. I'm just going to hold it. Woo! Wherever you are at. Stay strong. Come on, ladies. We are so close to being done. Couple more seconds. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Woo! Great job. Awesome. We are on the floor. Let's stay here. Just swing your legs around. We're going to come to that tabletop and just stretch it out. Woo! Great job, everybody. Tabletop. Nice and slow here. So we're going to come into cat cow. So as you inhale, you're going to drop your belly. Lift your chest, lift your tailbone. And then exhale, pull that chin into your chest. Round the spine. Let's do that two more times. Using these deep breaths to bring that heart rate back down. All right, after that third one, bring your knees nice and wide, feet together, and then gently sit back into your child's pose. Bring the head down in between the arms. Reach to the very tippy top of your mat and take a couple of breaths right here. Woo! 
Walk those hands over to the right diagonal. Hold that there. Slowly back to the center, inhale. Exhale to the other diagonal. Slowly back to the center. All right, we'll slow it down towards chest and belly. We're gonna come into a quad stretch. You can also do this standing if you prefer. All the way down, you're gonna look to your right. Bring that head and cheek all the way to the floor, so relax your head, grab your right foot, try to bring your knees together, and press your thighs into the mat. And go ahead and slowly release. Same thing, look to the other side. Head all the way down. Grab that left foot, try to bring your knees together. Press and hold. Go ahead and relax. Bring those legs a little wider than your hips. Baby Cobra, hands down, elbows. In, shoulders back, lift up, inhale. Nice and gentle, exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift up, eyes to the mat. And exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, this time all the way up. Downward facing dog. Upside down, be with that body, pedal at your heels. Really push your chest to your thighs. Nod your head yes, shake your head no. Lower those knees to the floor, and we're gonna gently roll up to standing. Head comes up last. Take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Roll the shoulders at the top. We're gonna bring those feet wide again, and you come into sort of a standing spinal twist. We're gonna lower down like we're doing that sumo squat. Place your hands here, you're gonna sort of push those knees apart. Move your hips around a little bit so we get that inner and outer thigh stretch. And then go ahead and take one shoulder in. So it should feel like a little, a little twist, spinal twist. Come back up to the center, inhale. Give your legs a little break and then exhale. Other side drops down. And then slowly come up. Roll the shoulders once more. And then circle the wrists here, especially if you're doing those push-ups. You're gonna inhale, reach those arms up. Once you interlace your hands at the top, nice and tall, reach to that left side. Imagine someone punching you on the side. So really push those hips over. Keep the core nice and tight still. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Nice side body stretch back to the center. And then exhale, slowly arms come down. Circle the wrist one more time. Shake it out. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees. Shake it all out one more time. Inhale and exhale. You all are awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Great job. Obviously, we won't see you uh, next Thursday.